CyberArk Privilege Session Manager for Windows enables you to connect to target systems directly from your desktop using any standard RDP client application, such as Microsoft Remote Desktop Client, to benefit from a native user experience. Open Microsoft Remote Desktop Client to create a remote desktop connection. Specify the PSM server address. Save the connection as an RDP file. Before connecting, we will need to make some changes to the RDP file. You can edit the file using any text editor. You can see the PSM server full address here. Add this line to the file. With this line present, you do not have to provide credentials before you establish a remote desktop connection. By adding this connection string to the alternate shell parameter, you can connect to the PSM and then enter the target account details. This allows you to use one RDP file to connect to multiple accounts. Note, it is mandatory to add a space after PSM. Save the RDP file. Connect to the PSM. Log in as a user with permissions to list and use accounts on the relevant safe. Specify the target account details, username and address, and the connection type, in this case, RDP. Click on the arrow button. Provide a reason for connecting to the target machine and click on the arrow button. Now you can perform actions on the remote server using a native user experience as a local administrator without having the actual local administrator password and without having to go to the CyberArk web portal to launch the connection. You can also include the target account details in the RDP file for a faster connection. You can prepare several files, one for each connection. Edit the RDP file. In the alternate shell parameter, add the target account details, username, address, and connection component. By using this option, next time you launch a connection, you will only be requested to specify your own credentials to authenticate to CyberArk, but you will not be required to specify the target account details, since they have been predefined in the RDP file. For more information, check out our online resources.